hi and welcome i hope you are good uh, this video is about how to create a pandas data frame from scratch uh, so uh, there are multiple ways of fetching data into a pandas data frame for example using a csv file for example uh, reading a csv file or a, or an excel file or a text file uh, but in this case i want to create a, a document a, a data frame uh, manually uh, so like for example while doing analysis you might come across a situation where you might have to create a small data frame manually so uh, for example so i have the example i have taken is some of the elements from the, from uh, the periodic table uh, so uh, we'll be creating this data frame so it will have an element name which is uh, which are hydrogen carbon oxygen and sodium i have taken a very small uh, element small data frame i will be creating and so i have taken only four elements from the periodic periodic table uh, so the next column would be atomic symbol and atomic number now there are two methods like there are multiple ways of creating a pandas data frame uh, but uh, i'll be talking about two of the methods so first is uh, using so let's first import pandas import pandas as pd because we'll be using pandas so there are two two ways uh, of creating pandas data frame that i'll be talking about so methods of creating pandas data frame so the first one is using dictionary and pd dot data frame method and the second one is using list of lists and pd dot data frame okay so let's start with using dictionary okay so uh I'll be creating a dictionary so the object so the objective is to create this data frame and uh, we'll be so the dictionary how will it look like is uh, the keys of that dictionary will be the column name and the values of that dictionary will be the entries of that particular column for example so I'll first create a dictionary then I'll use pd dot data frame method so let's let's call uh, df underscore list so this will be a list sorry this will, so this will be a dictionary so since our data frame is element uh, the, the first column is element name and all the entries I'll put it in in a list. So the first entry is hydrogen. Second is carbon. Sec uh, third is oxygen. And fourth is sodium. Okay. Now the second key is the second column of this data frame that is atomic symbol so in atomic symbol the elements are hydrogen h car c carbon oxygen o and for sodium it's n a and the third key will be the third column name which is atomic number a t o m i c number so the atomic numbers are 1 6 8 11 let's check 1 6 8 and 11 so the dictionary will be will print it print the dictionary itself okay now we have to convert this dictionary into a data frame so to do that we'll be using pd dot data frame df underscore dictionary okay so we have created the pandas data frame another method is <coughs> sorry 
instead of using uh, instead of creating a dictionary separately and then putting putting it inside a P, uh, data frame pd dot data frame uh, we can just copy it complete the full dictionary and directly put it into the pd dot data frame method it will create it will again create the same data frame uh, so now coming on to the another method using list of lists and pd dot data frame uh, now personally i prefer using using the dictionary uh, dictionary method because it's more convenient i i personally feel it uh, uh, because uh, each of the column name the entries for each of the column names are uh, subsequently written in the list uh, next to that column the other method using the other method uh, using lists uh, list of lists so let's let's uh, so in list of lists lists what we need to create is for each of the rows we'll create a list so in this case there are four rows in this data frame so we'll be creating four different different lists so let's let's call it list of lists so inside the list there will be four different lists okay it's uh, uh, even the pronouns pronouncing it is a little difficult so hydrogen second now the second entry will be h and third entry will be one similarly we'll be creating another list carbon comma c comma six then then the fourth list that will be oxygen comma o comma eight and the third list uh, fourth list sodium comma n a comma 11 let's print this as well list of lists okay now we have created the lists all we need to do is put it inside this list of lists okay now uh, it looks like we have uh, we are almost we are done with creating the pandas data frame but there is an issue here the column names we uh, are not as uh, what we expect the element name atomic symbol and atomic number so one more step in creating uh, the data frame using this method is we need to specify the column names so to do that we'll create column equal to we'll create a list element name atomic symbol and atomic number okay so basically it's columns and not column uh, so this creates uh, a data frame uh, which was expected using a different method so i'll write down the summary again so i have just told you two different methods of creating the same data frame so writing down the summary using uh, we need to create uh, a panda pandas data frame that was that looks like this or in your scenario it would be completely different data frame but the idea would be the same so the first method is using dictionary and pd dot data frame method so i like this method compared to the other one the other method is using list of lists and pd dot data frame Okay, 
So let's I'll walk through again. We had uh, the objective was to create a pandas data frame from scratch. Our expected output looked something like this. So we used two methods using dictionary and uh, using lists. So using dictionary, we created the dictionary with, with the name of the column as the key of the dictionary and the elements uh, as uh, uh, and the different values of that column as a list of that. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the different values uh, in that uh, dictionary so uh, we created a dictionary and then we passed the dictionary to pd dot data frame uh, the other method is using lists of li list of lists uh, so we created uh, as many lists as there are rows in that particular data frame and then we passed it to pd dot data frame so that's all for today uh, uh, I hope it was useful. Thank you and take care.